Hello guys, so it's four days away before the release of SD Gundam Battle Alliance. I have yet to get my uh, third HDMI cable so I can play the Switch. I still have to test how it would work. Uh, I know my PC has two HDMI slots, so I don't know if, uh, if it will be a compatibility, compatibility thing, but I have to test it out. But I will try to put out... Uh, I will try to put out okay so my I have it's gonna be delivered maybe today but yeah I'm gonna have to try to put out content on this Sunday this uh, next Sunday August 28th for the first SD Gundam battle lives video I will be transferring my demo save so I won't be showing the the Tekadan fight the Sang Kingdom fight and the white base fight so it's gonna be beyond the demo uh, that will be featured on my video this Sunday. But this video is going to be in line with the SD Gundam content that I am gonna prepare. And this is uh, the characters of SD Gundam Battle Alliance. And it was updated last Wednesday, I think, with new announcement of some characters. So there are units that have been added so let's get into it and let's predict what what will the what would their class be for the sake of some uh, predictions and yeah so you know what? It's Sunday. And you know what that means. I didn't say that in my last video, but it's Sunday. It's a SD Gundam Battle Alliance video. And I think my gun my gameplay video will be showcasing not less of the soundtrack to avoid DMCA. And I'm gonna be providing commentary. Maybe I will I'm not gonna guarantee it's gonna be in pure English. It's gonna be with uh, English and the native language that I'm speaking which is Tagalog so uh, yeah deal with it sorry I apologize in advance okay let's go first to our first series mobile suit Gundam so yeah mobile suit Gundam is the first series first Gundam series uh, it is taking place on the Universal Century timeline UC0079 Okay, so first up here we got the Gundam RX-78-2 and piloted by Amuro Ray. So obviously Amuro Ray and the Gundam very well balanced. I think this will be an all-rounder type of unit and I believe the the Gundam unit is going to be available when you pre-order the game and I already pre-ordered the game so I will be using the Gundam unit first hand. I already have the Barbatus. Because I completed the demo, so it's the Barbatus and the Gundam would be my first units to be used. And I believe the Phoenix Gundam is also included in the package. It's gonna be given for free, so yeah, Phoenix, Barbatus, and the Gundam. Also, I'm going to try a, an all Amuro Ray team of the Gundam, the new Gundam, and... I, the new unit that is going to be featured later on in this video so stay tuned also if you haven't done so like and subscribe on the video for to get your more of your gun SD Gundam Battle Alliance fixes and news so the next unit we're going to talk about here is the gun cannon piloted by Kai Shiden of course it, this is already available in the demo and it and I think you you already obtained it. It's a shooter on the demo, which is uh, one of your basic units that you're gonna be first units. If you haven't played the demo and you're gonna go straight through the game, this is one of the first units you obtain along with the following Gundam units that are going to be next. So the next unit is the gun tank, piloted by Hayato Kobayashi. Again, this is one of those early units, the early grunt units. You could go for the full Gundam Earth Federation Force team of Amuro with the Gundam, the Gun Tank, and the Gun Cannon. It's gonna be uh, yeah, if you like the pure nostalgia. But I don't see I don't see myself using the Gun Tank 
or the gun cannon. I think the gun tank is also a shooter. Correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, we get the gym, which, which is an all-rounder unit. One of your basic units. But I believe you also have the gym, which is exclusive, which is a uh, SD Gundam Battle Alliance exclusive unit, which is the Black Gym. Now for the Zaku 2 F-Type, this is one of your first brawler or infighter units. If correct me if I stand corrected. One of your first infighter units, also one of your first Zeon units. I like the Zaku. I like the Zaku during the demo. But I already have the Barbatos unlocked. So I may tend to use it less. But if I want to 100% the friendships here, yeah, I might use the Zaku. We also have the Dom, which is... Uh, I've seen a lot of videos. Com the Dom comboing. I think the Dom is a shooter in the game. Uh, your This is one of your Zeon grunt type units that's going to be introduced at the Gundam series. Yeah, a lot, of gun a lot of grunt units in the Gundam series. Okay, coming up into our first char as the Vault piloted unit is the Z-Gok. So the Red Comet is going to pilot two mobile suits here, the z -Gok and the next unit that is going to be featured. I believe the z -Gok and the other unit are two infighters. So yeah, I am going to run a full char team. Like a full Amaro team, I'm going to try to run a full char team because remember the character selection in Gundam in this game is by series so it, it may be possible to go for a full char team. So it's... I'm not, but I'm, I'm, I don't see myself using the z -Gook. if I'm going to do a full char as the full team. I'm going to see myself using the next unit, which is Char's Gelgook. Well, I assume this is going to be another infighter unit. I believe it has the shield, so it's going to be defensive-wise. And yeah, so you have this Char as the two Char as the units. It's a. Uh, I think the Zeyong is going to be uh, a raid boss type of uh, unit. So the mobile armors are confirmed to be right, like raid bosses or the final boss. So that includes uh, the the the, uh, the the New Zeal, the Zeyong, the Neo Zeyong, and the Psycho Gundam. Maybe the Destroy Gundam is also a raid boss. Moving to our next series, it's Gundam Double. I think it's Gundam 0080, War in the Pocket, with the Gundam Alex, pa piloted by Christina McKenzie. Yes, there. Yes, this is going to be one of the... This is the Gundam New Type 1, I think. Yeah, RX-78 NT-1. It also has the Gatling Cannons. I believe this is going to be an all-rounder type of unit, considering the Gundam Alex in the, uh, in the OVA is good at hand-to-hand, -hand and it has this shooting mechanism inside its gauntlet. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. That's my prediction. It's gonna be a a all rounder type of unit. Going for the camper, which is the one that uh, the Gundam Alex shot down at the War in the Pocket. It's uh, piloted by Mikhail Kaminsky. I believe the camper is a, an infighter type of unit. It is wielding a shotgun, which is more likely a close range type of gun. But it does have a huge bazooka. But I'm seeing this as an infighter unit for a represent as an infighter for the war in the pocket, just because of the next unit that I will really am positive is a shooter. And this shooter is of course the gym sniper of war in the pocket. Yeah. So I believe this is a shooter type of unit for shooter representative for war in the pocket. And yeah, I don't see myself using the gym sniper to be honest. So we are done with 0080, but before we proceed to the next series, uh, again, I am campaigning for to like and subscribe onto this video for more Gundam Battle Alliance content. Now we are on the 8 MS team, the ground type Gundam, piloted by Shiro Amada, the Zeon Sin. So the ground type Gundam, I'm seeing this more, of, more as a shooter because of its guerrilla warfare. Yeah, have, have you seen the 8 MS team? They, they're literally hiding in the trees. The Gundam are hiding in the trees. And they are tend, tend, they tend to snipe on units, right? So I believe that the uh, 
ground type Gundam is more of a shooter. Of, of course, Norris Packard and the Goop Custom, I am seeing this as a... Uh, what am I saying this? As a, an infighter? It has the special. The special is the stab, which is the most replayed clip on 8MS Team where the Goop stabs a mobile suit and it has the oil dripping off the knife. Yeah, this is definitely an infighter unit. And of course, from the scraps of the ground type is the EZ-8. And I'm seeing this as more of a all-rounder compared to the ground type uh, Gundam. Let me explain. The EZ-8 is, uh, is the ground type Gundam but with spare parts. And I'm seeing it be... It doesn't have the uh, sniping capabilities like the ground type where it hides. And it also, remember, on the Absolute fight, the EZ-8 really brawled and really cling onto it. Like how Shiro cling on Aina. And then EZ-8 did, ha did brawl with the uh, with the Goop custom. So I'm seeing this as an all-rounder type of unit compared to the ground type, which is a shooter. Okay, so next uh, entry on our on our analysis is the full armor Gundam, and we are now at Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. This is piloted by Jazz Enthusiast and the most boastful, prideful person that I've met while watching the movie. I'm I'm watching uh, Des December Sky and the Bandit movie be because I want to know more of the lore of the Thunderbolt. But we got the full armor Gundam. Uh, I'm saying the full armor Gundam as an infighter. It uh, works better as a uh, up close unit with the play as seen as in the playstyle of EO Fleming. Yeah. So we'll see. That's my guess. It's I think it's gonna be uh, an infighter. Also. Because even though uh, Eo Fleming is there, of course, Daryl is also there, also there, the Psycho Zaku. This is definitely a shooter. Do you remember how Eo and Daryl first encountered each other? It was Daryl sniping. So, yeah, I'm seeing this. And he is indeed called the King of the Shootouts. So, yeah, this is definitely a shooter unit. We are now at 0083, so if you haven't subscribed yet, leave a like and subscribe leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel now we're going we're here at gp03 unit 3 statement without the dendrobium but the dendrobium is indeed incorporated with with its attack so top gundam here i'm i'm seeing myself using this open because it's my favorite and i'm seeing myself using it along with uh the double zeta full armor spoilers and the justice Gundam or the Infinite Justice Gundam. So this is piloted by Kuraki. I'm seeing this as a shooter unit, given that most of its most of its uh, attack variants, the beam rifle, the bazooka, the, the, the dendrobium missile pods, and the dendrobium beam cannon. Yeah, this is definitely a shooter unit. Of course, if you we are now here at Zeta Gundam, piloted by Camille Bidan. I'm seeing the Zeta Gundam as an all rounder. It's obviously an all-rounder unit. I don't see it much as a shooter. I don't see it much as being a brawl. I think this is going to be one of those well-balanced uh, mobile suits. So, team composition. I'm thinking running Zeta with Amuro and Jidao. For Jidao with the double Zeta base form. Yeah. And the second unit of my... Of my uh, full chart team is Quattro Vagina <laughs> Hiyakushiki. Uh, Hiyakushiki, I'm seeing as a shooter. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run Hiyakushiki. It's not the Rick Diaz, but alright. Hiyakushiki and, and the Zazabi along with the Gelgug. I'm seeing this shooter. Yeah. Now for my composition, I am trying to go, I'm, I'm also considering going on a full funnel and of course the Cubili uh, takes the cake for funnels. I like the Cubili's design, it's so intimidating and it's, and it's piloted by the best girl, Haman Khan. So 
I'm seeing Kubili as a shooter unit because of the funnels. Then we go on to the next one, mobile suit, which is from Toroko. So Toroko here with the O, and I think this is a brawler. This is definitely a brawler. Look at that big boy. And I yeah, like how uh, Toroko uh, destroyed Camille's mind, right? It's gonna be mind blowing. <laughs> no pun intended. But I don't see myself using uh, Toroko's uh, mobile suit anytime soon. It looks clunky by design, but yeah. But I'm seeing it as an infighter. Moving on, Double Zeta Gundam. This is going to be a shooter with the me with the hyper beam cannon on its forehead. I'm seeing this as a shooter, but when it's the full armor version, I mean, look at that. This is screaming infighter. All around it looks like the Hulk okay finally after months of speculation the new Gundam is finally confirmed this is as much as I want it to be a shooter I'm seeing this as an all rounder unit since it's the new and it's like the uh, best Gundam ever designed so it's part of the Amuro Ray obviously and it's super I, I saw its trailer, its special is that punch, which he said can destroy a meteor. Of course, I we got here the Sazabi, so if we're running a full chart team like I'm planning, so it's Sazabi, uh, Gelgug, and the Hayako Shiki. I'm seeing Sazabi as more of an all-rounder as well, just to rival Amuro's uh, new Gundam. Also, I forgot to mention, on my full funnel team, I'm... Yeah, they've new Gundam, the Cubili, and spoilers, a certain Gundam from Gundam Seed is going to be my all funnel team. We now go to uh, Charles Counter Attack Belchorica's children with the high new Gundam. Well, unlike the all rounder that I think the new Gundam is, the high new, I'm taking it as a shooter. Yeah. Who else think this is a sniper shooter unit, the new, the high new Gundam? I'm seeing it, gonna be running it with a full Amuro team, so Amuro, 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 Gundam, new Gundam, high new Gundam. And I'm not really a fan of the design. I like the design of the new Gundam better with the colors. This is, looks like monotone to me. Okay, we are now here at uh, the Gundam Unicorn series. So we got Banajer Lynx. Banazer, as Audrey would say it. So, the Unicorn Gundam I'm seeing is an all-rounder type of unit. I, yeah, I don't. It's not much I see as a shooter. It doesn't even have. It only it only encompasses the beam weapon, and I think the yeah the new unique traits here the psycho frames that is installed throughout the Gundam. Yeah, I'm seeing just an all-rounder unit. Marida Cruz with the Kash K Shatria. This is a shooter unit, obviously. And it says here it's full 12, but it's actually Marida again. Spoilers. So, the Banshee Gundam Destroy Mode. I am seeing this as how aggressive Marida was with the uh, Banshee. This is going to be an infighter variant of the Banshee. The Shinanju, I am conflicted. I'm seeing this as all rounder. Or a shooter. It's followed by Full Frontal, which is the second coming of the Red Comet. I don't see Char as a shooter, but then again, I did I classify what is uh, as a shooter? I classified the Yamashiki as a shooter, but I classified the Sazabi, which I think the Shinanji is much more closer to all rounder. So maybe it's an all rounder type of unit. Of course, we got here the full armor Unicorn Gundam, so unlike what I said, the, the base form Unicorn Gundam, which is all-rounder, this is gonna be full shooter. This is unlike the Gundam Thunderbolt. When Banajer gets the full armor, he's gonna be go full long range on this unit. I'm gonna see the destruction of it. It's, it's like the freedom when he's using the particle cannons. Of course, Banshee Norm, the second variant of the Banshee, piloted by Reedy Marcenas. I am also seeing this as a shooter compared to just to oppose 
the infighter mode of Marida. Marida's uh, Banshee destroy mode. Okay, we are now at Gundam F91. Seabook Arno. So, Seabook Arno is piloting the Gundam F91. This is obviously a shooter because of his... Uh, because of the Gundam's... Uh, in very special weapon, the uh, BSPR. The Variable Speed... Variable speed beam rival, the BSBR. Yeah, I'm see. Yeah, this is more of a shooter. I'm really con. I'm really 100%. The F91 is a shooter. I'm not really familiar with the Crossbone Gundam. I have not read the manga yet, but this, I think this is a uh, Seabook Arno. Yeah, it's said there here. His true identity is Seabook Arno. The Crossbone Gundam. Uh, this is. The, I'm going to say this is a more all around, all around unit. Now with the Crossbone Gundam X2, judging by the by that huge rifle, this is a shooter, right? It has to be a shooter. Well, we only this is uh, we have the V2 Assault Buster Gundam, which is the full armor version of the Victory 2 Gundam with the wings of light. I'm saying this as an invader. I don't see Uso doing long range unless he's using the Mega Cannon. Mounted on the Buster Gundam, but uh, yeah, but if I'm going to abuse the wings of light, I have to go up close and personal, correct? So, uh, yeah, I'm seeing the V2 as an infighter. Obviously, got the God Gundam as an infighter. Uh, this is a uh, the hands of mine are burning red, it glows with an awesome power. Take my heart, take my love, my sorrow, and well, that my dreams, something, shining finger. Yeah. God Gundam isn't something that I see going on a range. It's more of a martial arts oriented Gundam. So yeah, this is an infighter. Obviously, this obviously this is an infighter. Look, the East is burning red. We got two infighters from G Gundam with the Master Gundam. Yeah, yeah we got two infighters. It's a mobile fighter gun. G Gundam, right? So, it has to be an Empire as well, right? Master Gundam with the Darkness Finger. Yeah, I like Master Asia. Master Asia's OP. Alright, I am uh, undecided which class would the Wing Gundam Zero is. But I'm seeing, on contrast with Zex, we'll get to Zex later, with the Appion, the Wing Gundam should be a shooter, due to the fact it has the, twin bu the two Buster Rifles. It, I am if it's the ordinary wing I would classify it as an all-rounder but it's the wing zero I'm gonna use yeah it's gonna be the shooter it needs the shooter bonus to get the uh, to be very nice on the uh, finisher right of course the Zex machine Miliardo piece scrap whatever his name is Gundam Epion this Gundam is pure melee it has to be an infighter yeah, Garrod run with the Gundam Double uh, X, the Gundam DX. Any variant of the of Gundam X, I am considering it as a shooter, especially if it's the only the X, the X divider. It does have that. It does need some aiming to do with the satellite cannon. Yeah, this Gundam DX is definitely a shooter for me. Turn a Gundam, which is. I think there are people saying this is the most overpowered Gundam in history. So, it has to be an all-rounder, right? I mean, look at the Lock Lauren. Laurent. I don't know if it's a he or a she. It's an all-rounder unit. Turn X, definitely a, an infighter due to its play style. Yeah, yeah, this is an infighter. Okay, Kira Jesus Yamato. I'm thinking... This is going to be all-rounder with the freedom. Uh, Kira doesn't really know how to shoot. And he is over-reliant on the uh, particle, on the mega beams of the free from the wings of the freedom. And normally you see Ki Kira charging with the beam saber. So it's going to be uh, a balance, yeah? So it's an all-rounder. Justice is heavily melee oriented. This is going to be an infighter. Very obvious. 
the final unit of my all funnel team, the Providence Gundam by Rolex Rosette. This is definitely a shooter. With the funnels, yeah, it's a shooter. Yeah, this is a sniper, shooter, whatever it's called in the game. It's gonna be a range unit. Time for uh, Gundam Seeds uh, multiple sequels that I haven't heard of except for Destiny. We got Mina with the Gundam Astray Gold Frame. I'm seeing this based on it looking like the Undertaker as an infighter. Gundam Astray Red Frame. This is the savior of Jesus Yamato. I am also seeing this as an infighter. Gundam Astray Blue Frame. Also, I'm seeing this as an infighter. Look at that big ass uh, sword. Has to be one, right? Shin Asuka piloting the Destiny Gundam. Yeah, this is an infighter. Obviously, I'm seeing this as an infighter. I think Kira will ship to being a shooter with the Strike Freedom Gundam due to the availability of the funnels. Now I'm also see I'm seeing Legend Gundam to be an infighter just to Polarize the Providence being a sniper shooter. Yeah, this is the Legend Gundam uh, piloted by Ray, which is a clone of Raw or Mu, whatever. And then lastly, I think it's the Infinite Justice Gundam. Yeah, the Infinite Justice Gundam. This is gonna be an infighter. Man, th they have so many infighters, guys, right? So many infighters. Double O Razor, this is gonna be an infighter, obviously. And by the way, we are now at Gundam Double O. So Setsuna FCA, who is a Gundam, <laughs> apparently. Double O Razor, infighter. I'm considering Eggsha as an all rounder unit. The Keldin is going to be a shooter. I'm seeing this as a shooter. Yeah, see, Arios. Definitely a shooter, a sniper. Cerebi, this is an infighter unit. I think the Cerebi, the, the, the other one was featured in the trailer, right? Rebounds, Reborn Gundam, I'm seeing this as an all-rounder type of unit. This has funnels, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a... She has funnels. She has some she has beam saver actions as well. Um yeah, I think this is gonna be they I think the devs are gonna use this as a well balanced mo mobile suit. So it's an all rounder. The single O Gundam, this is an all rounder unit. Arch Gundam, this is uh yeah, I believe this is gonna be an in fighter unit. Double O Quanta, I'm seeing this as an all rounder unit, given that it's a movie. So it has to be the best form of the double O. Now, if we made it 28 minutes through, please like and subscribe to the video. As a reminder, we are now G Reconquista with the G Self Perfect Pack. I'm seeing the G Self as a uh, all rounder unit. Yeah, I'm not familiar with G Reco, so. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. I'm go I'm just going to go with an uh, all-rounder unit. And we are now at IBO, Iron-Blooded Orphans. Barbatos, this is definitely an infighter. It's already stated in the demo. Barbatos, first form. This is the first form, right? Yeah, this is going to be an infighter. Since it's the same unit, it's going to be an infighter. Lupus Rex, infighter. Gashan is gonna be an infighter in my opinion. Alright, this is gonna be an infighter. That damn nano laminate armor has no <laughs> that's why shooters or snipers have no place in this. It's gonna be because of the nano laminate armor. Yeah, this is gonna be an infighter. The bale is gonna be an infighter as well. Now for the Kimaris. I'm not really familiar with the Kimaris. Let me adjust that. But since it has a huge ass gun, I'm going to make a executive decision here. It's going to be a sniper or a shooter. But it's not going to be a beam. It's going to be, I think this is going to be shell based arm, armory. So we are done with most of the Gundam series. So let's just go right here to the SD. Uh, Musha, Infighter, 
knight is going to be all rounder and command is going to be a sniper or a shooter whatever it's called then we got the uh, gym which is going to be an all rounder we got the raid boss the plugin plugin H and plugin P Gundam Latria I'm seeing this as a uh, shooter type but this is the enemy right yeah uh, Phoenix Gundam this is gonna be a shooter okay we got the Sangetsu Gundams this is the U Bay Unicorn Gundam I see this as a infighter Wait. No, wait. This is the infighter. Sanjian Gundam Astray is the infighter. Kakao Wing, Kakao Wing Zero is the shooter. This is gonna be all rounder. Yeah. And we got a DLC. So, Gundam Narrative. Uh, I think this is a sniper unit. And the other one, the Gundam Age, is going to be. Uh, I'm seeing this as an all-rounder type of unit. Yeah. So those are the units. And we've made a 31-minute video detailing the units that are currently announced in SD Gundam Battle Alliance. And guess what their class would be. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you went through the 30 minutes of me elaborating some of the units, showing them up in this website, leave a like and subscribe. That's it gonna be for today. That's a goodbye and good night. Bang.